Easy Company Collectibles, and today we're going to be looking at a buyer pass. As always, we're here on ComicConcepts.com because phone notifications. Oh, hey, what's up, Denobi? And we're going to be looking at this one because it's one of the best not notifications. One of the best figures Hot Toys has ever produced. Really, I do think it's one of the best figures Hot Toys has ever produced. Not only source material, but we're going down to the actual materials used into making this figure. Um, just the look of the figure, the concept, how well executed Hot Toys has done it. Everything about this Hot Toys is just a masterpiece at this. So, ComicConcepts.com, we're going to get this for $364.99, and then we have this shipping quarter 3, 2023. Plenty of stuff to go over here and what's in the box. You guys can pause it, look over it, whatever you need to, but let's get straight into the business end of it. Now, the pricing is just adequate for something like this. I think it's awesome. I think it's cool. I like it. I think it's worth it. Now, look at all this amazingness going on. So, everybody's saying how is this going to attach, magnet or via snap-on. We don't know yet. Um, I'm not too sure because it's got to be a very strong magnet or very lightweight skulls and bones and stuff like that not the secret society skull and bones but i'm talking this this is a really awesome image right here now if you haven't seen the movie um i'm not going to spoil anything because there's still people who haven't seen the movie yet marvel fans and um it's just an amazing uh portrayal of what hot toys has done um the, it's the smoky look on that stuff it's they i think they executed it well and this looks to be more of a Batman cape material that they're using here. Um, but as you can see, there's like a bunch of skulls and stuff in, like printed into the um, like cape thing. It's not really a cape. It's supposed to be like a misty, like, <sighs> if that makes any sense. Sorry for that ear rape. But like I said, like that's kind of cool. We have these little like three-dimensional skulls that's actually put onto the cape. And then you have these massive like skeletons coming out from behind him now he comes with a claw base as always which is going to be good for posing and flight posing but i don't like the base that it comes with it's just a basic little tiny base holding a massive badass figure i wish it did come with like a dx 16 dx 17 i think 16 had that same base too like a neo matrix base Something bigger and more presence, so that way you can give the figure more of a look. That would have been great, but here we have Hot Toys doing what Hot Toys does. Gotta have something. But uh, let's go over through something that you change up here. But look at all this detail and stuff. Look at all this magnificent work. This is amazing. And if Hot Toys can deliver all the way through, it's amazing. The standard strange, I think, is like $40 more. Than this is, or this is forty dollars more. It, which, whichever way it is, this is such a value compared to that piece, or other pieces, for instance. Um, uh, let's go to some images where he's different. This is articulated, so you can probably bend the wires and such, and you can still see more of the print of the skull throughout the cape, and then the nice little three-dimensional skulls, which I'm not sure what kind of material it's going to be made out of to be so light, so it doesn't drag the cape down. But everything else is looking amazing. I absolutely love what Hot Toys did with this. It's an absolute masterpiece. Super poseable, super just dynamic. I absolutely love everything. Look at the dynamicness of this cape just because you can pose it. And the tattered and the, the mesh look that it's going throughout to give that really, I guess, that smoky feel. So more of him doing what Dead Strange does. And Dead Strange has to be the... To me, one of the best parts in the whole movie. I absolutely love that whole scene. You'll see it in the movie. If you do know what I'm talking about, I'll absolutely love it. Now, here we see these guys at the side here taken out just with the arms. And these do look awesome chocolatey arms. I love chocolatey arms. It just... It's... It's so wonderful because I said to myself, if, if they ever release Dead Strange... Obviously, they're reusing the accessories at the bottom here for photography purposes... But I said, even if they release Dead Strange through uh, Multiverse of Madness, even though I didn't really like the movie as much, I think Sam Raimi did enough of what he's, he does, but Disney kind of stepped him back into the world of cringiness. And the CGI wasn't that great either. But 
The movie was awkwardly okay in my opinion, and this was the best and most badass part in all of movies, so that's what I'm going to go with. I said, I'm going to get this if they make that, which is going to be highly unlikely because of the complexity of the figure. Now, here we go. They released the figure. It blew my mind when I saw it. It's a definite buy. I don't think this is good as even a one-off figure. I think it's one of the most horror-like figures Hot Toys has ever done. That's over the zombie Deadpool and over it, Pennywise. So with that being said, I'll gladly take up on this figure and just absolutely buy it. Look at that head sculpt. It is sick nasty. I love the art in this. There's so much paint apps that's going into it. And everything that it comes with, as you can see there. The base is the only thing I have to uh, complain about. But, I mean, it's the base. You can switch it out, really, if you needed to. So, everything else, I mean, for the price, I don't want to be switching out stuff. That's that's my in, in little two cents on that. So, uh, with that all being said, I absolutely love this piece. It's a huge masterpiece, and I couldn't avoid making this video. I did come a little bit late on it, again, because I'm constantly doing stuff throughout my day. But, it is an amazing masterpiece. I have to say, this is an art piece from Hot Toys, and one of their best pieces I've ever seen from them, period. Um, it's even going against the um, one-fourth quarter scale Batman The Dark Knight Rises and even some pieces I have here like this is a one-of-a-kind piece even if you don't like Doctor Strange or anything Marvel this can be an awesome one-off piece and a showcase of what Hot Toys can do I absolutely love it it's a must-buy for me until next time guys on Easy Company Collectibles yeah. I don't know what that was okay bye guys